the Berserker Predator. Let's give this one a go. I'm on landscape page. Pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast. So, Predator mask with like a bottom bony jaw, basically, right? So center point to my page about here. And we're gonna start about here, right? So he's got this big frowning sort of section of his nose, right? And it kind of curves around and becomes the top of his eye. So it'll go like across this way, right out towards the back. And then, yeah, and then it goes back down underneath, right? So his big eye. Open to the corner here. Okay. And then, so we got a section here at the back that kind of goes up for a brow or something that way. So we'll do, we'll do the same thing on the other side, just get everything sort of symmetrical, right? So we'll go before we add more detail. So this goes up. That same thing again. Right, like that, more or less. And then his eye will go down around. Right, like that. So two big round eyes. So here so we got like some lines that come out for the nose in the, into the corner right so kind of comes out like this and they kind of go out towards the corner of his snout and these go down and then they kind of disappear into teeth and then the front of his nose will come across the top here and then they'll be like some extra sort of bumps just coming across here. Okay, so then some lines coming out from the side of his eye. So this comes around this way, comes down into there, joins like this point here. Might be like an extra line just coming around his eye here. Okay, and then we do same thing over this side. Just coming out from here. Might be another line just there on the side of the mask, a light one. So, down the bottom of this space, right, there's all these teeth. So I wanna get the bottom jaw and then we'll attach it to that big round, right, thing. But all these teeth down here, okay. Right, starting here. And they just go across, right, so it's like. Many is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, wait, one more here. Okay, and then this jaw comes around, a couple more teeth here, smaller ones. Four, I think. I wonder what alien creature jaw this is. It's gnarly. It looks sound like human, sort of, or predator. And then this kind of goes up around here, and it disappear around the back of his mask, just up this side. Right, so this will just come down. It kind of bumps.
and we keep going. And it just bumps around the chin part. Like so. And then we'll give this kind of like edge just coming around here. It's got lots of like sort of these holes and textures kind of coming down this way. So then there's a line from this that comes out to the side of the mask. So it goes out from like, let's say right out up here. And it goes all the way down into here. So we'll go like side of the mask there. And then on this side as well, down into this tooth like another line just here so that sticks out more for the gun or something so maybe like a little bit more on this side as well something there okay so now like this big back part of the mask right so we'll go like up around like that I always have to hold my breath so then this side as well sort of similar goes in, try to keep it as even as you can both sides. Down there, down there. And then there's, there's more that come back towards his eye, okay? So, say from here, right? So we got this round sort of part and then it goes back down towards his frown down here. And then this side. Kind of like that. And then these join together up here. And then there's like lines that sort of separate certain sections inside. And we got the laser on this side. So say like this section comes up there. And then we don't have that section on this side because there's the his gun sort of laser pointer thing on this side. Right there, and then you'll have like, I don't know how many he has, three? I'll give him three, because they usually have three. So right there. And then this kind of whips back to here, and then back towards the front, and it might have like a line on top and stuff. And then it connects to the helmet there. So then the back of this goes around the back of the helmet. And then whipping down from here, we have another sort of edge line. And that'll like go right into the corner of his nose. And then you'll have a bit of it that sort of joins the side here. And if you want like edge lines and some more sort of different 
texture lines inside there, light ones, like so. And we're going to try and do that over here. So hold your breath, carve a line down to there. You don't have to hold your breath. <laughs> but, uh, it helps me. And then this goes up around the back. And this goes up here somewhere. And there's like another sort of section inside here. Like that. Okay, and then like texture and like because it's metal, you know, like sort of light kind of texture lines, scratches and stuff, you know. as much of this as you want now. But I think that's enough for me anyway. So he's got um, black spikes that stick out from, no, the red, sorry. And then there's the black dreadlocks. But they kind of go behind his head. So we'll do the red spikes first anyway. So coming out just from here. six I think right, and then on this side can we see four one two three four five there's five yeah okay so We'll go down and we'll do his neck and his body and then we'll do the dreads because it all goes behind the gun and all that kind of stuff. So let's do his body. So let's see. So armor, neck armor and stuff. So. So just underneath his neck here, there's like a strap, right? That comes across connecting both these kind of sections, right? So just here. Well, it comes across this way. And then there's a metal plate that's like overlapped a lot, right? So say like another section comes down far and up and then it goes around like there and then this keeps going sort of down this way another section there So then we have another armor plate so sort of starting here. And then another one overlapping, which goes underneath and around up here. And then there's another one coming out underneath here. I'm gonna add edge lines to these just to make them look a little bit three-dimensional. 
So it's a bit complicated now, so take your time, hit pause if I go too fast. So this goes up and around. His gun sits on top here. Right, so it kind of sits off his chest. Chest plate there, right? And then another one goes up and around here. And it comes around this way. Down underneath. This and then up the back there and then goes back in to there. Right, so then there's like a circle. Inside here, with another sort of circle inside, and then it's like broken up into these pizza sort of slices, like that, and then another circle sort of line around it, like so. And then this is like another piece of armor or something. comes down this way okay so quite detailed and there's shoulder armor and stuff that comes down here as well but we'll just add edge lines and sort of texture to these right so edge just to this strap. And this strap goes up underneath his chin. And a bit more sort of there. And then edge lines all on these, right? So you just want to make them look a little bit three dimensional by adding just this extra sort of line around the sides. It's a quick way of just making something look a bit 3D. See, it raises everything up. Just a light line. Right, like that, okay. I won't do the gun yet. We'll just finish his shoulder, right? So the gun is like sitting on top here. So it steps up and steps out here. But then there's like shoulder armor all here. Right. And this will have, let's say, an overlapping and an edge. Like that. And then another armor plate in here. And then his shoulder kind of comes out here somewhere. But then we also have another armor plate here. And then his shoulder muscle kind of goes in underneath this. It's all dark in there, can't really see it. So that's like his shoulder. Like that, okay. And then, so like the center line for his chest will be like here. Right, so with some like textures and stuff going across.
And then his neck armor will come down here. Right, so his neck is like here and then neck armor. Okay, so this is like his skin, it's reptilian sort of, right? And then he's more armor over this side. So we gotta do that now. We'll just bump all these plates, right? And we'll just go one plate at a time. Down, down like so, another one there, another one out here, down. And then another one here. And then this will go all the way back up underneath that strap. Right? So each of these is a plate. So we gotta bring it back towards here. They all go underneath one another. All up to there, and then give them edge lines all over as well. So, we should see a start of that going back into there as well. So, the edge lines just again make it look a little bit three dimensional, and this strap will go underneath there. So that's his chest. So that means the other side of his chest is about there. And we'll make him look kind of wrinkly. Right, and then his other shoulder muscle, sort of, I'd say here, bicep maybe on top. So this is like armpit, shoulder, and this will have all skin texture and stuff on it as well. Like so, okay. And then gun dreadlocks. So the dreadlocks on this side. So are they silver or what? So we'll go, we'll take a big one. We'll go big one out here first. We'll just bring them all down and then we'll add those silver clips to them all right so that one comes down there and then behind and you'll just keep adding sort of layers and layers of these Right, and we'll go this side as well. So we'll do one coming down here. Maybe one sitting on top of his shoulder. Just do one that kind of like sits on top here. Make it a bit more interesting. And then some that'll go in behind. And this will go behind his gun sort of there. And then the rest we can go behind his neck and his head. Right, and then we'll add just some silver. Well, it depends on what our gold sort of clips. They're normally at the top. There might be some on the bottom here.
Okay, but roughly, roughly like that. And then we'll go for this gun, right? So the gun is pretty complicated as well. So take your time. So it kind of like sits up on this platform, sort of this square it comes down. So, and we'll just get the general shape. So it just like goes up, out, and then around here, then bumps down, and around the front. Just goes back down to there, right? And this kind of like comes around the top, and it has like lots of details and edges and circles and so like the inside of it we'll just do a simple sort of circular one we won't do the one in the screen because it's got all triangles and stuff on inside so you can color this black And then we'll give it all these edges and concentric circles, lots of them coming around like this, right? So the barrel of the gun, like that. And load the lines coming around now. So roughly like that, and you can do it as much more detail on that as you want. And then we'll just add some scratches and cracks to his armor. Just some dirt and things. So lots of these kind of things will help us just different textures and things all over his metal armor. Just help it stand out a bit more. All right, and then we can just darken up some edge lines. All right, but I think that'll have to do. That's how to draw the Berserker Predator. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.